The single most important document in design is the style guide. This ensures that all your colors and your fonts are consistent across the whole brand. Here are a few examples of style guides from different companies. Unfortunately, Divi doesn't have a central place where we can control all this. It's all in different places. Now, let me show you what I mean. So if let's say I want to set up my colors for my website, I would come over here to Divi and then go to theme options. And here is where I could change my colors. And this is the default color palette. Now, if I need to change my fonts, I would need to go in and change my fonts at each individual module. For example, here I'm on my blurb, I would come over here and then go into design, go into my text over here and then choose my title text. This is where I would click on this drop down and choose my color. So let's say I'm gonna go with uh, this one here and then save. Now you notice that I have to do this each and every time. If I need to do this on the, on the button, I again, I would come over here to the button, uh, go to design, go into the button here, use custom styles for button, and then make my uh, change for my font. Now, as you can see, this is very tedious and the challenge comes when you want to go in and make a global update you would have to go into each and every item and make those changes. Now, let's say you have a website with 500 pages. What are you gonna do? It's very, very difficult. Or let's say a company says, well, we are rebranding, we want to change all our colors. It's gonna be very difficult for you to go into each and every instance and change your colors. This is why I created the style guide. The style guide is one central document where you can change all your fonts and all your colors. And this works with Divi. Now, let me show you how to install it and how it works. Installing it is very easy. All you have to do is to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Now, after you've purchased it, you're going to get a zipped file. So I'm gonna click here on upload. Now you need to go to where you've downloaded it. So I'm gonna come over here and click on choose file. And in my case, it's right here on my desktop. So this is the Divi style guide. I'm gonna double click and then click on install now. So what's gonna happen now is it's going to install this plugin. So I'm gonna click here on activate plugin. And now you notice that we have Divi style guide right here on the bottom of your screen. So I'm gonna click here on Divi style guide. I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and click on begin site import. Now this shouldn't take a while. Excellent, so everything has been imported. The next step you want to do now is to come over here to Divi and then click on theme options. Now remember we had a color palette initially, but now it is blanked out. This is to take away all the confusion of where you need to make your changes for your style guide. Now let me show you how this works. So what you wanna do now is come over here to all pages and you're going to notice now that we have this page called Divi Style Guide. I'm gonna click here to view it, and here it is. So by default, we have this set of colors. We also have transparency over here, and this is the font that I've chosen to begin our site design with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on Enable Visual Builder. So first off, I wanna show you how you can go in and update your colors. So let's say you're using a tool like Colors, uh, dot co. So what you can do is to come over here, choose your color by just clicking here on copy hex, and then you'd come over here to your style guide, and this is where you'd make your update. So let's say you wanna make an update to this color right here, which is your main primary color. So you'd come over here into your row settings, and then go into your primary color. So I'm gonna click over here, and then you wanna to go to your background. So you can see now that this is the color that we have. So if you wanna change it to our own brand color, I'm gonna click over here, and then I'm just gonna paste my hex color like that, and then click the check mark. Now you notice that the color has been updated over here. Now why this is very, very important and very exciting is, you can now start making updates to your website using this color palette. So I'm gonna click on save here, Okay, so let's go in and see how we can use our color palette. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to come over here to my button here, click on design, and then go to my button. Now you, again, you notice that all my colors here are all blanked out. So the way to use these colors is to come over here to global. So this is where now you can select your text color. So let's say this is my text color, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come over here to my background color. Again, I need to go to global and then choose my color. So let's say this is going to be my main color. And then for my border here, I'm just gonna remove that. Okay, so that's now our color and that applies to say, for example, all call to actions. So if I save that and let's apply the same uh, color to something else, so maybe, maybe the background over here, I'm gonna click here 
go all the way down here to my background. Again, you're going to see it blank. Go to your global and then choose your background color like that. Now, if I save this and save the page, let's say at one point I need to change the branding of my website. How would I do that? Well, this is done on one central place. Let's go back to our style guide here. So this is my accent color. So I'm gonna come over here now to uh, my color palette here and uh, let me choose a color that could work. So let's say I wanna choose this color as my new color now to add to my style guide. Again, how I need to do that is to come over here, click on my row settings, and this is my accent color. I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, come all the way down here to the background, and all I have to do is to click in here and paste my new color, just like that, and then click on this check mark. So now you notice that it has been updated here, which is fantastic. I'm gonna save all that and save my page. The next step now is to come over here to my page. Now remember, this is the color that I have. So this will be an example where, uh, let's say your client says, we need to change our branding. We want to add new colors. This is how you'd go in and add your colors. So I wanna save this page and refresh it. So let me exit the Visual Builder here. And notice that my color here has updated and everywhere that this color has been used, it will be updated across the whole website. So this makes it very, very easy to manage and control your colors across the whole website. Now let's take, let's take a look at a font. So at the moment here, as I mentioned, you would need to go in and change every uh, instance of your font. Now at the moment here, you can see everything now is all using pop-ins. So if I click here on enable visual builder, you're going to notice now that every module that I add is going to have our default font. So let's say I wanna add, um, what can we add here? Let's say I wanna add a heading, for example. You notice that it has pop-ins. So let me save that. And let's add another module. So let's say this time I wanna add a testimonial. There we go, pop-ins. So now you have consistency throughout your whole website when it comes to all your fonts. Again, this is a very, very good practice when you're designing your website. Now. Let's say you want to change your fonts across the whole website. I'm gonna come over here and let's go to our dashboard. And this time you wanna come over here to appearance and then click on customize. So now you wanna come over here to your general settings, click on typography. So what you wanna do is change all your fonts from here. So this is where your central place is. So at the moment, our header font is Poppins. Let's say we wanna change that to Playfair Display. So I'm just gonna look for that font. Here it is, I'm gonna select that. And you can see here that it's been updated. Now let's hit publish. If I come back over here to this page, click on exit, save and exit. You notice now that my title here has updated. Now the same, the same thing also applies to my paragraph text or any text on my website. So if I wanna change that as well, all I have to do is to go to my body text and here it is. This time let's choose Noto Sans and you can see right away it has been updated here. Hit publish. And then over here, if I refresh this, across all modules, my font now has been updated. This is the best way to manage color and font across the whole website using DV Style Guide. Now, DV Style Guide is absolutely free for lifetime members. So if you're a lifetime member, just log into DV University, uh, navigate to all your products. And as you can see, the DV Style Guide is here, ready for you to download and start using it. If you're not a lifetime member, you can purchase this for only $37. The link to that is in the video description below. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.